Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, I'm OJ Jordan and I've been working with RevShares for a while now and I've got some experience, some bad experiences and some good experiences and I've learned a lot in the last, uh, it's been a year and a half that I've been working with RevShares and it's RevShares is still a new type of business, it's still a new module and things are changing a lot and uh, these companies that started uh, two or three years ago are now uh, almost seen as old RevShares shares as old business and things are happening really fast and uh, and and things are changing very rapidly with rev shares so uh, a year or two years is a really long time when we talk about rev shares and lately the market is changing in such a way that it's literally three or four months some some of the rev shares are only lasting for three or four months or six months and and then they start getting uh, very slow and they run into problems with paying and all of that so there are quite a few things that you need to know and you need to be concerned about and you need to be aware of and um, I'm not going to go through too many things I'm gonna try to keep this short so let's see what are the main points that I want to emphasize here and that I want you to be aware when working with ref shares now the first thing is that you need to choose well you need to pick a company run business not something that is run by one or two people and with rev shares believe me there are lots of examples where you have one or two people starting a rev share on their own from their home not exactly being a company registered business it's not being run by a team being run by one or two people and that is very difficult for a business that is dealing with a lot of money sometimes multi-million dollar business you can't expect it to be run by a couple of people this could be people that are experienced marketers they could be people that are experienced in ref shares as customers as people that work with them but a lot of the times we see now people starting doing their own ref shares and we need to be aware who is behind that ref share is it a company or is it just a person in their bedroom which if that's the case i don't recommend it uh, the second thing you need to really avoid high yield investment programs these are really risky programs they're usually completely passive earners you deposit money and you start making uh, earnings on a daily basis without doing anything anymore if that's the module of the business that you're looking at right now this is a very risky business and I would tell you that 99% of the time people lose their money in these businesses it's only those who start in the first couple of days of a business like that that have some chance to recover their seed money and maybe run a couple of cycles in that company so that they make a profit but a lot of the times when people find out about this it's already after two or three months after they've already gained some popularity and usually that is the time that they decide to disappear and they do that very instantly and suddenly so with hypes it, you're almost guaranteed that you will lose money more than you will make another thing you need to be alert about and, and watch out for is are they using PayPal contrary to what you might think PayPal is actually not a good Thing for ref shares PayPal is not a good sign it is not your friend PayPal does not want to work with companies that have MLM structure multi-level marketing type of structure where they pay commissions on people's purchases and things like that and this is what ref shares do they work they operate on an MLM type of structure almost all of them so ref shares are generally not working well with PayPal if your company that you're looking at is accepting PayPal whether it be for with withdrawals or deposits regardless it is not a good sign and I do not advise on using any ref share that has PayPal integrated in their system another very important point is to deposit only what you're comfortable to lose you need to know that there is always a risk involved even though you might research a lot and even though it might come very well recommended and everything might be going well with that program for a long time but at some point it could run into problems and you might lose some money and if that is the case you need to know that you're losing something that you're comfortable to risk 
do not borrow money from credit cards or from friends or don't put too much money into this especially when you first start be very careful with what you deposit and maybe just start with something small work your way up build some experience and then use that experience to start making higher risks and you will see a lot of people having amazing results really big accounts with very big figures that will be very impressive but do not get tempted to try and uh, get the same results because when you first start it will be impossible for you so you need to, to work with these programs for a little bit of time to get some experience and then you can start risking thousands do not risk anything more than four or five hundred dollars in in your first ref share at the first time when you're joining also you have to question the admins who are the admins who are the owners of the company are they real people? Do they have public profiles? Are they known? Are they respected? In some occasions you would see people hiding behind fake Facebook profiles and things like that. These are massive red signs. If the admin is not a genuine person and doesn't have a very public profile where you can clearly see his activity on social networks, Google search, even you need to reach out to people and find out as much as you can about who are the people behind that program and you need to know that they are genuine people and that even though it is a risky program it is not a risk in regards to who is behind the program get as much feedback as possible that is always my advice to ask a lot of people who are in the company but also ask people who are not in the company and see why have they chosen not to use that program if they give you feedback that is just personal and they didn't join the program because they just had something else that they're working with that is okay that is not very bad feedback but some people might give you information that is important for you to know things happening behind the scenes that maybe you were not aware of if you find people who know and who work with ref shares for a while and have a lot of experience you should try and ask them questions about the ref share you're looking at and see what kind of general feedback you're going to collect try to weight the, the feedback and see how much is the positive against the negative and can you trust that the positive is overweighting the negative so that you do not feel that it's too much of a risk you also need to choose very well who will be your sponsor your sponsor is the person that will be guiding you in that program they have to be a really experienced person they have to be someone who's got a lot of knowledge about how to strategize they have to be someone who can advise you about the ref share they have to be able to spend time with you online whether it will be on Facebook or via Skype or email and communicate with you and be able to advise you about your personal strategy your goals in that ref share your sponsor can almost be your mentor in that experience so make sure that you have a sponsor who can dedicate the time to explain to you how things work and advise you on what is the best for you don't just go for someone who's got a very big following and they show you very big results in their YouTube videos because if that person doesn't have the time to spend to dedicate to you then that person is useless to you you will not be able to achieve the same results as them and if they're not guiding you then there is absolutely no value in them being your sponsor not everybody with great results and with big teams is the right person for you you need to find the right person for you ask questions make sure that that person responds well and make sure that that person is reliable and also make sure that they're real make sure that they're not just giving you big statements and then they're not really following up so don't join someone on the first day try to have a communication with them for a few days in a row make sure that you are happy with that person and that you can trust them go through their content on their Facebook go through their content on YouTube and make sure that they have enough valuable content for you to trust them and for them to deserve to be a sponsor also you need to strategize about how to get your seed money first and fast this is one of the main things is to minimize the risk because there's always a risk to minimize that risk you need to have a strategy that should allow you to take your money your seed money the money you deposit from out of pocket in the fastest possible way 
So the first thing you need to do is to have a strategy on how soon can you withdraw your money. If that ref share will require that you build up an account for three or four months before you are able to withdraw your seed money, that is not a very good idea. You need to be able to withdraw your seed money in the first eight to ten weeks and that is the longest I would give. So that is the first couple of months you need to be able to withdraw your seed money. If a program is requiring that you build up for a longer period than that, that is a risk that I'm not sure if you should take. You need to wait out that risk. Generally, it's good if you're able to recover your seed money in the first six weeks. That is ideal. And then after that, you can think of other strategies where you can continue compounding and build up your account so that you can withdraw a regular amount daily. But that is not your first strategy. Your first strategy has to be to take out your seed money first. Join the Facebook groups, the main Facebook groups of that ref share. They, they will always be one official group and then there might be another two or three groups made for technical support or for certain parts of the world. So join these groups and go on these groups daily. Every day go on these groups, see what people are posting, see what the, what the admins or the promoters are posting, what, what updates they're making, what people are complaining about. These are things that you need to be alert about. Do not worry about everything that people complain about because there will be many issues that people have on a daily basis that might not really concern you and your account. But you need to be aware of these issues and you need to know if there's something more serious coming so that you know how to plan and strategize so that you can avoid your own risk. And lastly, when you are researching a program, Make sure that you go to the Alexa ratings. It's a website called Alexa.com and that is a website that was acquired by Amazon not long ago. So it is a very reliable source where you can check ratings of different websites and these ratings are estimated according to performance and traffic. So if their Alexa ratings are good, this is good news for you and how do you know that you can see a number here that is the ranking currently in the world then you will see another number here which will be the ranking for the country where the website is most popular in and then you will have a graph and that graph will be representing the last few months of development of the business if the graph is going up which is a positive graph that means the business is growing and it's expanding and this is good news for you. If the graph is going down, that means the business is in decline, it's shrinking, it's losing revenue and for a revenue sharing company you want that business to be growing. You need that business to be making a lot of revenue because they are sharing their revenue on a daily basis with their members. So you don't really want to be joining a business that has a declining graph. Another thing is you're going to probably go and see a lot of blogs. You will read a lot of posts and, uh, and many people will be talking about scams. Be aware that a lot of the blogs are written by people who are promoting something. A lot of the times you would find that these bloggers are promoting other programs similar to the one that you're researching. So they can claim that your program is a scam just so that they can push their own programs and their own ref shares that they are trying to promote. So do not believe every blog you see and do not believe every negative review. But you should read them anyway and you should be able to judge whether that information is genuine or whether not to trust it. So read all the blogs regardless but do not trust all of them. And the last thing is again talk to your sponsor, ask them for advice, ask them for what is their experience and also explain what you are trying to achieve and see if they're going to advise you to maybe use a different program if this one is not the best for the type of goals that you have because these people might work with a few different programs so they might have something else to recommend to you but also when they recommend something else be aware that they might be just trying to push a new program because it's more profitable for them so you, you also have to question their advice and you have to try and get feedback from other sources so that you can judge if their advice was correct or not 
so hopefully with all of these tips you will be able to minimize the risks for you and uh, maybe avoid getting scammed if you're just joining a ref share for the first time be prepared that it might not be a very smooth ride and there might be things that you didn't expect a lot of the new ref shares right now are changing terms and conditions and fees and prices quite a lot and often they do it very suddenly and one last tip that i can give you right now is that it's very important to join a ref share in the very beginning in the very first days maybe even in pre-launch this is the best time to join a ref share because the first few months of any business is when that business grows the first couple of months maybe three or four months is when every ref share is doing very well and it's growing in popularity people are promoting people are happy with it and the business is expanding and the graph here on Alexa you will be seeing that is always a positive one so this is the best time to join a ref share if you're joining for the first time try to find a new ref share and try to find one that has some good terms and conditions and things that look very well so that you you have enough time in the first two or three months to gain the experience to make the profit and get your seed money so you do not lose money in your first ref share experience so hopefully these tips will help you and uh, thanks for watching this video i'm gonna see you in my next video tomorrow